Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Krakenfall, and today is something special in Satisfactory. Today is Fixmas. What is Fixmas? I have no idea. It is the holiday event for uh, for Satisfactory, and what's in it? I have no idea. I've logged in, and I've noticed that there's some decorations on the power poles, but that's about it. I honestly have heard it's a little bit involved, so I don't know if that's going to be like. Oh, I can do something for a half an hour. Or, oh, there's a collection quest with, you know, 20 days of <laughs> of content or or what is it, what it is. So, let's uh let's jump in it and uh and see what it is. Welcome back to my world. I've made a little bit of progress. I haven't played as much as I'd like. You can't really see it right now, but I have started to really make progress on the sushi belt. So, the sushi belt is now uh, moving all my resources, you can see my stacks are now emptying into the sushi belt. Uh, I've put the iron products in there, and uh, and I'm working on everything else. Uh, I did start a, a little bit of supply convoying, for, uh, shipping, with the... Okay, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> my head is like pounding because of a sinus infection but uh, it I'm just gonna be a little bit air airheaded today shipping shipping line with the train okay I did <laughs> I did start a shipping line with the train to bring some of the aluminum products into the area so I can actually I don't have to jump back and forth one of these things as I've been upgrading everything to mark 5 um, Mark V belts and conveyor belts. I, I've had to jump back and forth on the hypertube to get all my stuff uh, to to refill on aluminum, and it's been annoying. So, I I was like, I, that's it. I'm spending whatever half an hour it takes to get the shipping line working. What am I? Holy crap! What is this? Why is it on the belt? Is, do I face through it? Nope. Okay. Fix fix miss gift. Did did wait, how'd it get here? I'll be falling from the sky. Okay. Twenty fix miss gift. Buildings and parts can be attained to produce from this fix it holiday present. Watch the sky for deliveries from orbit. All right. All right. So I should just pick this up. Are these like parts? Are these resources? That's where it landed. Okay, open it. Okay, do open it. Let me. Let me. I'm gonna make some space in my inventory. Oh, uh, you'll notice that I've kind of started to crowd things. Um, I feel like every every leap I take in organizing my base, I take two steps back. So I, uh, I, <laughs> I just did, I slapped down a radio control unit uh, fabricator so I could make radio control units because they're a pain and I have two bases right now. Um, oh, autosave. I have two bases right now and materials that I need are on both sides of the world. Uh, I already got distracted. Let's put, let's put some uh, stuff in the sink. All right, what does this give us? You may be past the point of organization. Okay, when's the last time you saw I look at this. Look at my bastion of organization right here. I gotta I gotta show it to you now. <laughs> look, look, look at this. This is this is over Actually, uh, I ran out of room for my aluminum casing. My aluminum casing goes all the way to the top and it's full and it's spilling out the outside. It's I I, I didn't think it would happen actually. That bastion of organization that conveniently overlooks the spaghetti. Or the spaghetti. I know. How many spaghettis did he possibly use? Mm. Oh, that's not so much. Mm. So? Mm. I have no idea. 
I have dismantled one supply stack, for the record. <laughs> Someone mentions organization. Crack it. Look at my storage! Yeah. I mean, it's a lot. You gotta admit. Look at that. I, I bet I've used a stack of almost every single one of those, besides, like, Noblisks and the super... the super eclectic materials, like oscillators, like those... You know, who, who's used a 17... 17 containers of oscillators, but on, on the regular materials, I absolutely have used them. At least a stack. E to open calendar. <laughs> I love I love how the dog is just like all happy with his two eyes. Today is number one. What? Find the number. Okay, there's 19. There's 15. Oh, okay, thank you. I would not have noticed that. Seven, six, 17, 6, 20, 12, 25, 24, 21, 14, 7, 13, 2. Oh, we're getting close. I just need a 1. There's 22. Give me a 1. Okay, so it's not in the perimeter. Let's just, let's just do a dot matrix printer style. <laughs> 15, 22, 9 up there. Okay. 15, 10, 16, 21, 24, 19, 1! <laughs> no, not rip, I just found! <laughs> there we go. Got it. Okay, cool. That only. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it doesn't take me. I found every other number except for 1. So I should be good for the rest of the time, huh? Awesome. And the MAM research is complete. Hmm. Heat exchangers. I mean, it uses rubber, which isn't great. But I have a ton. I have a ton of, of um... Of the sheets. Okay, so I'm thinking heat exchanger. Alkyd casing, I have a ton of them, so I don't really need that. And then smart plating is just sink points at this point for me. Cool. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, here we go. Fix miss tree base is completed. Oh. What is that? Fix Miss Tree Branch. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go collecting. Some things are just unlocked and you can now make them. Others you have to wait to find in the advent calendar. Okay. How many do I have now? 185? Alright. Fix Miss Tree. Oh! Okay. So I, I can now construct things out of the gifts. So what you're telling me is I need to go sweeping throughout the world to find more and more more and more of these gifts. <laughs> this is the output of the entire uh, sushi belt and if I didn't if I rigged it up wrong then it gets it gets thrown into the excess and I called it you effed up in. Uh, which I am actually running out of room here. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I need to stop shipping all of the aluminum casings. Oh, the gifts drop based on where you are, so you should get plenty looking for doggos. Well, let's look for doggos then. I, I definitely know I was going to do that and got distracted. Let's get distracted again. Hello. Maybe I should make an explore. Oh, you know what? I have the music turned off. Uh, let's turn that back on. Oh, hey guys! No! Oh, 
Moje mózgami. No. Don't tell me what to do. Oh. I thought that was the Death Star for a sec. Like, in the distance. That would be so cool. I should... I should try and get a mod or make a mod for putting a Death Star in the... In the... <laughs> <laughs> in the the um, horizon. I don't think I've just walked around the world of Satisfactory. I definitely have traveled by hypertubes mostly. I wish I could search for doggos. I have not tapped into the overclock part of the game yet. Well... Let's just say for somebody like me who sets things up in a haphazard way at the beginning, it's very nice for squeezing a little bit more efficiency out of what I've got rather than having to reset and rebuild, you know? When I consent to building a new factory, it's wonderful. When I have to build a new factory because, you know, I've screwed everything up, that's, that's painful and demotivating. So I, I like overclocking because of that. And then eventually I grow out of what I overclocked and I'm like, okay, well, I actually need to redo this now. And then I'm motivated. So I don't think I'm going to find a doggo on the cliffs of wherever I am. So let's try and find some more um, flat area. I have never seen this part, this area. There's like very heavy jungle floor. Very thick jungle floor. Oh! <laughs> Thank goodness for jetpacks. Also, I think I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. Where they have this drop and it makes you look down. And then you see the the power slug? That was kind of cool. Hashtag game design. <gasps> Doggos! Wow, two of them. This must be Doggo Oasis. Hey, dude. All right. Hey, guy. How you doing? Um, you know, I stand corrected. We are on the clip faces. All right, where's the other one? Hey, bud. Oh, no! That's what happens when you eat it? Take two? Oh, now it doesn't trust me. Okay. Take two. There we go. Yeah. Good boy. All right. We got a Rudolph, little Rudolph, little Rudolph buddy one. This is just a trash heap. Uh, Acro, I am sorry, but I am refunding that one because this is a doggo-friendly playthrough. <laughs> no, 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 no ban, no ban. But this is, this is a bastion of doggo world. Hey, bud. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a thing, huh? Here, let's get down. There. The bottom of their legs look like... I don't know, like T-bone steak or something. That was... That was a weird thought. 
All right, we're on an adventure. Taking the doggos home. Hello. I wish I could, wait, can I clap? Come on. Oh, that's more of like a flamenco clap. I was thinking more of a, like a dog summon clap. There's another doggo. Hey guy, how you doing? No, no, come back. Do you have a moment to talk about your insurance? Oh. Oh. I guess he didn't doesn't want to talk about insurance. Let's uh let's stop you there. I'll stop you right there, bud. Did he warp? This guy is precocious. There you go. There you go. See, I'm all right. Now let's get you back up. Am I going to name the doggos? I think I will. Once they uh, bring it to... I, I heard that they're bringing it to Satisfactory. I don't know when they're going to bring naming. I think that might be tier, um, update 7. Hello? Hello? You going to come with? <laughs> I know it was Chance, but he came when I whistled. Would Hobbs get along with Lizard Doggos? Probably. They're not cats, and so he wouldn't be threatened by them. Hobbs is kind of anxious when it comes to other cats. Hey! Operation Doggo is a go. Bring them back to base camp for further petting. <laughs> I'll pet him now, though. Oh, hey! Thanks for the, thanks for the nuts, Doggo. Hello? Hello? I wish I had a uh, freight truck so I could just pack them in and then drive home. They're <laughs> stepping to the beat. They need some sound effects for their little pitter patters. Ah, you've gone to doggo heaven, I see. Yes. Hey! A nice touch. Oh, I am so far away. Oh. Dang. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be it's gonna be so long. Cat break? Oh. Okay. Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Alright, let's go get him. is chilling now. <sighs> what a nice <laughs> two frames per second sunset.
Oh, speaking of the, getting them home, the issue with doggos despawning can happen because they're on bare ground. Oh. So I just make a foundation and he's gone. So we should be good if I make foundation. I'll have to do that. I was trying to keep them on grass to help um, keep them in a natural habitat, but you know, I think that's an intentional mechanic. If you die, they lose all respect for you. <laughs> but they're not from Fix Miss. Uh, Fix It. Maybe Fix It chose this world. Is this a conspiracy? Is this a Fix It experiment, like Portal style? Is this a Fix It manufactured planet? Nice kitty. Such a nice kitty got one that looks just like him. Yeah. He's he's a good good boy. Dying isn't efficient. I know, right? Oh. Get away from my doggo. Why do you want the doggos in the first place? Uh cuz they're cute. And I'm also protecting them so they don't get stolen by LJO. Every time every time they despawn it's L they've gone to LJO's world. <laughs> I love the Christmas doggos. Me too. Are are there antlers growing out of their head or is it like a or is it like a head headpiece. Cuz I'm leaning towards headpiece right now. What's sticking out of their necks? It disappears when they sit down. Doggo sometimes look like basset hounds with their floppy ears. That honestly that I'm pretty sure that's what it's reminding me of. That's a great point. I, I was like, it's so familiar and happy and floppy. Come on, guys. Come on. Nah. Okay, don't get sucked up by the hyper tube. <laughs> I'm glad doggos can't get sucked up. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> I definitely walked by <laughs> the hyper tube to see if it would. <laughs> Uh, yes, seen a movie with one, but it was an older person who needed the support of sitting down. Okay, that makes sense, though. You see those infomercials, well, I don't, not anymore. If anybody watches TV, you don't see infomercials. But, like, the, uh, shower seats and all that. Okay, where shall the doggos be? I think I might put them in the bottom of the computer factory. <laughs> I love how the... <laughs> the truck... The truck just follows your driving directions immaculately. And uh, I was definitely being impatient, so you can see how impatient I was driving, like recording that path. Near storage might be handy with a bin to get sort what they give you. Oh. Yeah. That is a good idea. I guess I'll put them back in the original area. Doggos don't get hurt by gas, right? I can just walk through here, right? Oh, Acro, that would be amazing. A doggo wagon. <laughs> they should... They should... They should make it like those bike... Um, trailers that you put on the back of bikes with people with their kids on. <laughs> Except it's a doggo. That would be amazing. Hey, doggos. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so they don't like... They don't like the gas. Let's bring them in here, then. I have seen doggos walk in the gas and just kind of like hang out in the gas before. So I thought they might be able to survive it, but they looks like they're running from it. Well, I don't need the biomass processing anymore, so I can just dismantle this to make my way through.
Come on, guys. And MAM research is done. Right on time. Perfect. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Let's get them their treat. All done. Oh, that took a long time. Oh, it makes me kind of. Oh, they're getting the food. Okay, never mind. I thought they were looking for a way out. Thank you.